honestly, sir, with with the way that it happened, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to still have my family. Jeremiah, thank you. Well, fire officials say if a home fire were to happen, everyone should leave the home and not go back inside because that can be fatal. Officials add that now is a good time to make sure your smoke alarms are up to date. Well, the ballet is coming to town and all in anticipation of the holidays. Ballet performances are truly spectacular, and that's why Danielle's happy to invite us all. That's right, <laughs> and the ballerinas are happy because they're always on point, Adam. Get it? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't sure if you'd get it if I didn't do that. Anyway, you know what? This is right. You're, you're right. It's going to be a great time. It's a brand new season for a wonderful ballet recital, so we can really feel the magic of Christmas time here in the Rio Grande Valley. You see, the Deborah Case Dance Academy has been training their students year-round, and the time has finally come to show off what they've learned from various instructors on a local level and all the way from Moscow, Russia. So, the recitals are going to be held to help inspire young aspiring dancers and really train them into becoming amazing dance performers. And this show is going to be one uh, which is set up to be that of a winter wonderland theme. It's a chance for attendees to help support dance education in the 956 while also appreciating a good show. Students are going to get to learn how to really focus in on their dance abilities and push through their physical aspects of uh, the sport in general to express physical, emotional and intellectual skills while they're on stage. Now it's a show that not only makes us feel the bells and whistles of Christmas time, we love that, but it helps to promote local culture arts and more. The experience is one of color and motion and plenty of live music accompaniment. Uh, plus, it's a great chance to enjoy the classics of musical scores that really make us feel like miracles are in the air. <laughs> it's all being hosted at the McAllen Performing Arts Center and it is a state of the art entertainment facility like that. So we're just really talking about a great time, a great environment for sure. Be sure to mark your calendar for this Saturday. The doors are going to open at 6 p.m. and you can certainly lock down your tickets to it all by visiting McAllen theater.com. You guys, have you ever been to a ballet recital? I have not. I've Me seen them either. on TV, but I've never been to one in person. What about you? I have been to yeah. one. I well, definitely wasn't quite this professional, but <laughs> I actually took dance for a couple years. I don't think I've ever said okay. this on air, but I took ballet and dance for maybe like two, two and tap dancing for two years Beautiful. when I was a kid. So I cannot dance at all. Don't ask <laughs> me to. But I still like going to recitals. We yeah. had some friends that were very advanced that kept it on through the years. Wow. Got to go see them do, I want to say it was either the Nutcracker, mm -hmm. maybe the Grinch, okay. something like that. So it was a Christmas one. They're so fun. It's amazing. Very yeah. Very cool. What about mm -hmm. you? Did, have you ever practiced, trained? No, 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 but I can do a little points. I saw you stand on your toes <laughs> there at the beginning. Just so. kidding. I can't do it like they can. But, you know, I mean, that takes so much skill. Yeah. I mean, if you've seen behind the scenes stuff of yeah. how ballerinas train, whoo, respect. Yeah, I, this <laughs> takes me way back. When I yeah. first started working here over two years ago, okay. my first in the field live shot was for Deborah Case Nutcracker Show. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. So I've seen her videos and all oh. the stuff that they do. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, they do really cool work over there. That's awesome, yeah. Adam. It really gets you in the spirit, yeah. right? It totally does. Yes. Yeah. yes, before December even hits, guys, tomorrow. I, this Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow is December 1st. Yes, yeah, I know. Yeah. Cool. I'm so excited about this. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, it sounds like a great time. Thank you for yes, the invite. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a new facility in Brownsville to provide health care to city employees. Details on all those benefits after the break. And if you are heading out the door, we have a little bit of fog here and there, so visibility could be extremely reduced for some areas, but the rain is not going to be.